Okay, so here we are in the next video. Uh, we're continuing with the freeway analysis uh, slides. Um, so the last uh, e example we did was for uh, uh, general terrain models. Uh, that is when we don't have specific information about profile of, uh, of our basic section. And we use these characterizations of rolling terrain, level terrain, mountainous terrain, uh, very general uh, characterizations of the of the profile, uh, but sometimes, uh, oftentimes, we have specific grade uh, information, and uh, we can use that in um, in in doing our analysis. So, grades have two components of interest. One is uh, that 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 actually affect uh, the uh, behavior of trucks in the mix, and that's really where this. Uh, the grades enter into the picture. It's their impact on the uh, on the ability of trucks to function well. So uh, the two the two components are how long is the grade and how steep is it. Those both of those things affect uh, the performance of trucks uh, in a mix. Uh, and in Table 9.4, you'll you'll see where we can um, actually go in with. Uh, with a, a, a length and an extent of grade and for any given percentage of trucks or, or buses or um, uh, rec recreational vehicles we can come out with our passenger car equivalents which is used for the factor for heavy vehicles so we're gonna in our previous example we used rolling terrain which is kind of a loosey-goosey very general uh, de definition of uh, the, the profile along the road and now we have specific information about that profile it's a five percent grade two miles long so at what level of service does the facility operate so the only thing really that changes again is the behavior of trucks so now we have more information about about the profile so this is, a, is an example of that table that I referenced earlier and it's a table of grades here grades lengths of grades and then uh, percent trucks and recreational vehicles in this case just uh, percent trucks uh, and we have a 5% grade, so we're going to use this one. Right? Uh, and it is 2 miles long, so it's more than a mile long. Uh, and I think it was 5% trucks, so uh, we're here. And so the uh, passenger car equivalents, the number of cars that we would replace one truck with to get the same performance in the mix is 4 so in that case, uh, we'll replace uh, or we'll recalculate the F sub HV, the factor for heavy vehicles, with uh, putting in a four instead of a two and a half. Uh, and this is the new factor. Uh, we'll recalculate everything. Here's the uh, the uh, passenger car per lane per hour, uh, and uh, checking that again. This is more than that dividing line, so it's beyond. The, the level speed, so we have to use S, not free flow speed. And calculating that, which I don't go through here, we already did that. Use one of the equations to calculate the, the speed to be used, uh, and the, the density comes out to 21 vehicles per mile. So 21 vehicles per mile if we uh, look in that same table, again, it's still in that same category, so it's still level of service C. And that's it for special uh, for specific grade. Now, often, we don't have just one grade. We have multiple grades connected together. So, um, you know, after all, we're looking at the performance, or how the grade affects the performance of trucks right so specifically we're interested in how does it affect the speed of trucks which would then affect um, you know the the behavior of the traffic uh, so you know if the grades aren't too steep uh, or too long uh, def as defined in this in this slide uh, we can use just the weighted average 
of grades. Uh, but if they are, uh, if they do exceed uh, 4% or they are, any one of them is more than 4 miles long, uh, then we need to use uphill, then we need to use uh, speed performance curves. There's a technique that I'll go through right now that'll, that'll show you how to do that. So really what we want to do is, is use these curves to convert a sequence of grades to a single grade. So these are the, the, this is an example of speed performance curves. This is for heavy trucks and it plots the exit speed of the truck from a grade, any one of these grades, over a certain number of feet. So if the grade is a thousand feet long and is three percent, uh, then the exit speed would be just under 30 miles per hour. That's the idea. And we can, we can compile these curves <coughs> using, um, uh, you know, power calculations. So uh, truck power is uh, in horsepower is just equal to the, uh, the uh, force that is working against movement times the velocity that's maintained by the truck divided by 550 to convert to uh, horsepower. Okay, so the force uh, that's working against the movement of the truck on a grade is, is just the... Uh, the weight of the truck times the grade in el uh, expressed algebraically. Uh, so the power is the power required to maintain that velocity on a grade for any given weight of truck is equal to this. So if I if I solve for v, which is the the speed that can be maintained on a given grade, it's equal to this. Uh, now if I plug in the, uh, the weight to power ratio, in our case, in, uh, on that curve, it was 300. 300 pounds per horsepower, or th was it, yeah, 300 pounds per horsepower, uh, then that's pounds per horsepower that would go in the denominator, 300. So the velocity on those curves that I just showed you would be equal to this. So for the for 7% grade, I would calculate using this equation 17 miles per hour. Uh, but that's slightly more than the graph value. If you look at the graph for a 7% grade, I only get about 13 or 14 percent. So what's going on? Well, the fact is that there's more at play. There are more forces that are acting against the movement, such as wind resistance and rolling resistance and other things that we'll talk about later uh, that, that are affecting the, the, the truck. And they are included in these curves, but they were not included in that, uh, that, that equation that I showed you. But nevertheless, that's uh, you know that equation is is the forms the basis for uh, for these curves. So the exit speed is the key here for uh, determining composite grades. Okay, so let's take a look at this idea. So we have exit speed versus length of grade and any given grade. So if I have fifteen hundred feet of five percent grade a truck would traverse that distance on a 5% grade and exit at 40 miles per hour. Well, if a truck exits a 3% grade at 40 miles per hour, I know from our, our model that that 3% grade is about 3,500 feet long because there's a relationship among those three variables, exit speed, length of grade, and extent of grade. And so I can convert one grade to another grade using this idea, right? So a 1,500-foot 5% grade is equivalent, one could say, to 3,500 feet of a 3% grade. Now I can use that uh, to come up with this comp uh, composite grade that I was talking about before. Okay. So the idea is if I can find 
along a sequence of grades. At the end of that sequence of grades, if I can find the exit speed of a, of a truck from that sequence of grades, and I know the length that those grades are, then I can find the single grade that would cause, of that length, that would cause that exit speed. That's the idea. So what single grade causes the same exit speed as that sequence of grades does the, uh, along the profile? So I'm going to do an example here. So um, we have to use the power curves under these conditions. So if the grade is, any one of the grades is steeper than 4% or the total length is 4, 000, more than 4,000 feet, yeah, use the power curves. So we have a freeway section lies on a three quarters of a mile of 4% grade followed by a half mile long grade of 5% 5, 5 and I want to find the, the equivalent grade for this combination. What single grade can I use in my uh, heavy vehicle calculation? And there's a trick. The idea is all I'm going to do here is I'm looking for the exit speed so I'm going to enter the first grade, convert it to the second grade, and add them together and find the exit speed. That's it. Okay. So the exit speed from a 4% grade of 3,960 feet is 32.5 miles per hour. Now, what length of 5% grade would cause that exit speed? And the answer is 1,700 feet. Okay, so that 4% grade is equivalent to a 1,700-foot 5% grade. If I add that to the 5% grade that follows, I have this many feet of 5% grade equivalent. So the exit speed is 27 miles per hour. So the exit speed I found is 27 miles per hour uh, and the total length remember is a half a mile plus three quarters of a mile. So what single grade would would cause these this exit speed at, at this distance and the answer is in this case because this length is so long uh, the truck has reached crawl speed, which is that sustainable speed, uh, and that's 5%, 5% grade. So we would use that 5% grade in, in, um, you know, in, in the problem. So let's take a look at uh, this next problem. I want to find the design hourly volume for a given set of circumstances uh, that uh, a highway could accommodate at some level of service C. So, uh